Hello, Nick Zagorillo here, and I would like to talk to you about a video that I just recently made and finished up, posted to YouTube, and I wanted to give away all the source files for that uh, video content. So here's the actual video that I put together for making trim sheets. I'll put the link in the bio down here, but you can see if you go to the video, if you scroll down and take a look at the chapter sections, it should be very easy for you to find the information that you're looking for. I also put a link to the Gumroad page so you can actually find the actual product on Gumroad. And if we go and take a look at what's put together for this, I know it's listed for a dollar. If you wanna go ahead and get that for free, use the discount code for that and use YouTube sub on there and that should get that for free for you and get you all the content you're looking for. If you take a look at the actual files, there are some pretty big files in here. I've separated it all out, so it should be easy to grab the files that you're looking for. We do have the Maya file that's gonna have all the different parts and pieces that I used and I built inside of Maya to push to the other programs. We got the actual ZBrush sculpts. Um, I'm actually gonna give you also uh, the Substance Painter file, so you can take a look at that. I'm gonna give you the low res FBX files if you wanna take a look at those. I'm also gonna give you the high res FBX files that were used for baking. So you can take a look at everything that was put together for baking both low and high. Then I'm gonna give you the Unreal Engine files. So you're gonna actually have access to the different parts and pieces in Unreal and the materials and the textures. I'm gonna do that for the trim sheets. And I'm also gonna give that to you for the tiling textures that I put together. So hopefully all this material will be able to help you in your endeavor to learn these different techniques and take a look at some of the tools that were used to make that. So here we are inside of Maya and you can see these are the final shapes that were built on here. I've got my trim sheet that uh, tiles this way. I've got this piece that uh, tiles uh, in a 90 degree bend in and a 90 degree bend out. And I also built this pillar that you see here. So go ahead and hide these pieces. Uh, I'm gonna give you everything I use for my block out meshes. Then everything that I sent to ZBrush for my files for ZBrush. Then the files that I use to send to Substance Painter and do the work inside of Substance Painter. This is all contained within the Maya file, by the way. Um, this is a bake cage that I use in Substance Painter, so you can have access to that. You also have access to the high-res sculpt that I use to check with the mesh that I sent to Substance Painter. So you can take a look at that as well. That's on a layer. Let me go ahead and hide this. These are the uh, pieces that I actually sent to Unreal. Let me go ahead and hide that. And these are, this is the final mesh that I actually sent to Unreal. And with this final mesh, I generated the other parts that you saw, which are these modular pieces. So you can build uh, unlimited walls and corridors and things like that. So that's the Maya file that I gave. Okay. And if we, Go to ZBrush, you can take a look at, this is the sculpt that I built for that. So I'm gonna give you the ZBrush file so you have access to that and take a look at that and you can see how the wrap mode worked. Within this file, you can actually see the blocking meshes that I sent from Maya over before I did any kind of sculpting. And then I'm also going to give you the Substance Painter file. So you can take a look at everything that was generated with the textures and you can go through and you can dissect all the different maps and uh, filters and things like that that I used to uh, generate that. So here's all the final results pushed into Unreal. And the things I'm gonna be giving you on the Unreal side is these Unreal assets, and you'll have access to the different meshes that were kicked out for this. You'll have access to the textures, and then also the materials that were put together for this. Um, as a bonus, I'm also gonna give you this material for the floor. The floor is pretty simple. It's actually just an Unreal plane that I put, and the thing that you're actually gonna care about is the materials on these and we've got uh, the textures for that. And you can see this material, it also has an example of uh, parallax occlusion mapping on that floor. And so I think that's kind of an inter interesting technique to take a look at. So what I've discovered through this process of making tiling textures and also trim sheets is that these processes are actually pretty difficult. Um, it takes you a little bit of time to get your mind wrapped around things. So my true desire is to give away this material to you and help you to become better artists and make better art. And hopefully it's going to help you along the way and give you a better understanding of how to get that accomplished.